This is the mosquito we're most likely to come in contact with outdoors. Vandervelt researcher Larry Swibel works with them every day. These are in our backyards as we speak. Aedes aegypti mosquitoes are often called tiger mosquitoes because of their stripes, and they have plagued humanity for centuries. These are the most dangerous animals on the planet. Dengue virus, yellow fever virus, West Nile virus, Rift Valley virus. And now add Zika virus to the list, a virus that can attack unborn babies, causing severe birth defects. Diseases like Zika can travel from one continent to the other in the blink of an eye. Another problem, the 80 species bite all day. They live uh, typically in cities where they can take advantage of very small water sources like ponds or gutters. Uh, and really can adapt very well to living in close proximity with humans. So this is well, one of the chambers that we grow our mosquitoes in. Swibel is trying a new approach to stop mosquito attacks, focusing on a mosquito's sense of taste. When a mosquito lands on you, she tastes you with her feet. She has taste receptors on her feet and then she's tasting your skin. His key is to overstimulate their senses. What we're going to do is take the taste receptors from the mosquito and then test those cells against 300,000 unique chemicals to see which chemicals make these receptors go crazy so that you don't taste good to her. She'll land on you and then fly away without biting you. When will a prototype be available? We want to have a working prototype in place within two years. These guys are different species as well. With no vaccine and no treatment currently available for the Zika virus, research like Swibel's is even more important. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer.